Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're talking about uh, what I refer to as native string literals. This was a technique that was used between uh, Python 2 and Python 3 migrations and uh, you might still spot this pattern in legacy code bases and I'm going to show you why it was done that way and then a tool to automatically fix it for you. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so um, one common thing that Python APIs did in Python 2 was do some, well, and they still do it in Python 3, is type check the arguments that are passed to them. Uh, and so you might see APIs that look something like this, uh, you know, do thing, which takes some string argument. And uh, it was fairly common to check that this was actually a string. And so someone might write, you know, something like if not is instance s stir uh, raise type error s. And this code looks fine, and you know, maybe at the end it does print s or whatever, and I don't know, whatever. So silly function like this. Uh, code that looked like this was actually fairly common. Uh, and, you know, things even like setup tools, the Python standard library, a lot of stuff did code like this. And when porting code to Python 2 and Python 3, this often caused problems. And the nature of those problems are when you dealt with string literals. So one common porting strategy for porting Python 3 was to enable Unicode literals such that your application was more Unicode aware. And so you would put from future import Unicode literals, Unicode literals at the top of your file, and then any literal that you had, you know, like s equals foo, and you did print uh, type s. And if you ran this in Python 2, uh, you would get type Unicode, and so your, your application would be more Unicode aware. Now, if you didn't have this up here, uh, you would get type stir, which is the, the, the binary string type in Python 2. Now, the problem with this is if we, you know, have this enabled from future import Unicode literals, and we try and call our API that requires strings, uh, specifically it requires the stir type, and we call do thing on s, um, we'll get an error in Python 2 that says, you know, type error uh, foo, because this is a Unicode type now, and Unicode is no longer an instance of stir. And so the fix for this, and this was fairly common, the fix for this was to wrap this in stir, uh, such that this was a native string literal. So this would pass in Python 2, and now it would pass in Python 3 as well, uh, because this is now you know, an actual native string literal type, where, whereas, you know, Unicode literals would force it to be Unicode. Um, the other option is remove Unicode literals. However, Unicode literals has quite a lot of other benefits in being Unicode aware. Um, and the way this works, the reason this works is in Python 2, uh, Python 2, you could implicitly convert from a Unicode type into a string type. So if you did Python 2, you have u foo, uh, this is a Unicode string, and if you called stir on it, it would convert it using ASCII. I guess it only works if this string literal is ASCII, but we're, we're making some assumptions there. Uh, so in Python 2, this would go from Unicode to stir, and then that would pass this as instance check up here when we're calling a, uh, a required native string uh, API. And in Python 3, uh, this is already the stir type, so calling stir on a stir does nothing. Uh, stir to stir, which is a no-op, uh, and so that's that's how this worked properly. But anyway, once anyway, once you've ported to Python three, you no longer need these literals, and sometimes uh, it's kind of hard to you know find all the things to upgrade your code to Python three. Uh, and because of that, I have written a tool called PyUpgrade. I have showed this many times on stream, and I've worked on it many times on stream. Um, and we need to do pip install PyUpgrade. And we can call pyupgrade on this file, and it will automatically go through and eliminate, you know, this was a Python 2 uh, flag, this was a Python 2 flag, and if you, you know, call it with the Python 3 plus argument, Python 3 plus t.py, it will go through and fix that file for you. And so if we reopen this file now, you'll see that it removed from future import uh, Unicode literals, and it removed that native string thing here. Um, and so it can kind of undo those Python 2, Python 3 idioms. Anyway, that's native uh, native literals. Hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.